This is a Game Caviar production. Not happening in the Game Caviar Studios playing another new game for the channel. Actually, it's another new game, but I don't think I'll be posting too many videos of this. This is uh, Super House of Dead Ninjas. And it is pretty relevant because it's something that I want to talk about today. I actually got this game through IGN and... One of the cool things about IGN is that if you're part of their Prime uh, program that they have where you pay like an annual price, I don't know what it is. I know it sets up to renew automatically uh, every, for me it's every March, but I pay a price and every month they give me access to a free game and many, many betas. Some of the betas I put before, I uh, put on the channel before, like a uh, loadout and uh, let's see here. Let me pull up Steam real quick. Mm, loadout, uh, natural selection. I don't know. Ravage was another one. And basically, what I'm getting at is this is a really good program. Uh, it's called IGN Prime, actually. And for a long time i was part of igm prime and i really didn't understand the benefits of it and i was about to cancel it until they really stepped up and changed the program and started offering these betas and free games like i said this game is pretty cool i always see this game being uh, announced or advertised on adult swim because this is a, an adult swim game but i didn't uh, I, I wasn't interested enough to actually buy the game now this game it's pretty fun. It's one of those, you know, you can see it. I mean, it's one of those 8-bit retro type games. It's like a uh, mix of Shinobi and some other stuff. But uh, it's cool that I got it for free. And it's cool that they offer it for free because now I get to make videos of it. And I get to tell you guys about it. So maybe somebody who sees this video was on the fence about Super House of Dead Ninjas. They see this video and be like, hey, it's pretty cool. Maybe I should try it out. I don't know how much it costs. On the regular, maybe I, I guess it wouldn't be more than ten dollars. I'd hope not, or you know, I don't think it would be. But uh, there are people who have who are on the uh, the fence about games like this, like uh, Hotline Miami. I, I want to get Hotline Miami, but it costs ten dollars, and I'm pretty cheap. So uh, that, and I also have this thing that when I buy a game or something, you know, it normally, it'll happen to be on sale the next month or within a month, maybe, and that really freaks me out, so, uh, I, I, it happened first on, um, I remember when I first bought, uh, what is it, not Bioshock, uh, Borderlands, when I bought Borderlands on P PlayStation 3, like the next month, they were giving away for free for PlayStation Plus ca um, customers or members or whatever you want to call it. Either it was free or they were giving it like at a really good discount. And I was like, why? Why? Why did I do that? Because it was still like, it was like $30. So, you know. $30 might not be that much to some some people watching this video, but to me, it's really something that to, to pay attention to because I'm cheap. I'm cheap. I mean, I don't make it a... Uh, it's not a, a secret or anything. You know, I like to... to I don't like to spend money. <laughs> you know, uh, especially now that I've gone through my adventures of seeing things like borderlands where i pay 30 dollars for it and then the next month they're like handing it out like halloween candy you know but anyway ign prime is a really good program i vouch for it i think that it's really cool i don't agree with a lot of things that go on at ign as far as video game reviews but this is definitely one of the things that they offer that i can support anyway this has been super house of dead ninjas on the pc i'm not having it in the game caviar studios and i'm out this has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.